All right, so it's T minus 94 days until opening, which that's a uh, specific days, not rehearsal days. We have 43 rehearsal days, hopefully. <clears throat> Started off my day, I, I have first hour planning, which is bonus because uh, I'm usually called into the auditorium um, to cover um, setting up for a, an assembly whenever the tech guy isn't there. Luckily, I get along with him really well. He's cool people. Um, but first hour planning allows me to get all of the facilities open. Um, you know, I'm pretty good about getting my classes ready with the paperwork, etc. that's necessary, or running my copies. I just have to be. Um, and I'm, I cannot call myself a green person considering how much uh, paper I copy. Um, but the school doesn't seem to be too concerned about it. But yeah, so the plan today was to spend my first hour planning to specifically call up parents to let them know that I needed them in two weeks to come to a, a parent meeting so we can discuss some fundraisers. <clears throat> because with the demographic I'm in, sending out, um, sending out an email or sending out a, uh, just posting it on the calendar online doesn't work and, you know, sending letters home with teenagers is completely redundant. So yeah, my parents re require specific phone calls one-on-one -on -one, in order to make that happen. But those plans were thwarted because in the world of the public school teacher, no matter what you have going on in 500 after school hours, Someone was late. Someone had car trouble this morning, so I was asked to cover a class. So that kind of shot all that to down, and that wasn't able to happen. Um, then the class schedules were shortened, so uh, due to due to testing, because we have testing out of. Out of 36 weeks of school, we have testing 30 of the weeks. <laughs> so, there was one class that was taken down from uh, an, an, uh, an hour and a half class to about 50 minutes. And so those students had to get ready for notebook check. Um, because we have standardized notebooks that we use for the entire school, which is kind of a phenomenal idea. It follows the AVID um, concept. Uh, however, in order to get them ready for their very first notebook check, there's a lot of hand-holding. The concept of organization doesn't exist. We have a lot of kids that you can't just say, go out, get dividers, and get ready for this notebook check. Um, get a brand new binder, brand new dividers. Have all of these things incorporated in. It just doesn't work like that. So we had to get ready for notebook check and using uh, old manila folders to rig some dividers together and we just put some really creative juices to flow. So anyway, so I didn't get to call any parents and um, didn't get to s see my students do their scenes. So that class is behind and definitely will be playing catch up. But we'll, we'll make sure they're ready for the showcase come hella high water because that's what has to happen. Um, had the wonderful opportunity to meet with my advanced class today. Um, but quite unfortunately, they were... I'm getting rained on. Okay. So we're going to move inside. Oh, Florida. <laughs> but I don't feel like going inside. It's too pretty. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, the advanced class we met today and we're able to get some work uh, semi-done. We got the people that were scheduled for callbacks. We at least got them separated into uh, their callback groups and available, knowing what their callbacks were going to be, what scenes they needed to do. Didn't get to see them because the first hour was spent um, yelling at them. <laughs> My students. I call it yelling, but really it's, I have one of those come to Jesus talks where I talk very quietly and very softly and 
they they always are they're always waiting for the explosion. But, uh, why give them all of that? Come on, it's better to have them tense and waiting for the explosion than to give them the explosion. <laughs> Anywho, um, was able to drop the four month schedule, and uh, it 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 hit the way I wanted it to. Um, yay! But unfortunately, what was en encompassed in that was the fear of God placed in them. Um, like, oh, MG, there is a lot we have to do and a whole lot more. And so I was able to luckily have the time, sort of, to take that opportunity to say, okay, they're freaking out because they don't know what's coming. And so it was a tremendous teachable moment. And I can do that. I'm a teacher. Watch me do this. I'm a teach. Watch me teach with a T. E E C H S. It was sad to see how frightened they were, but it was necessary, regardless of how much time was lost. Well, not regardless, a day was lost, but they needed to know that um, they were able to do this and how possible it was. And so, in the midst of my yelling, there was soothing. But of course, as happens, we lost three of our students who were called down by their guidance counselor who chose their elective class to make sure that they saw them. Um, I get that. Of course, the, the school is always going to choose to make these meetings during elective classes rather than during their core classes, regardless of the deadlines of the elective classes. It's what happens. So. They're going to miss out on some information and are um, going to have to make phone calls home to parents to make sure that they specifically open up that kid's binder to look at the calendar and be able to help their child at home. I'll probably assign some of the officers to that person, to those three, to make sure that they get caught up on the information that may not be evident just from what's written because those three people have never done a show and it's their first year in the class. Um, they were auditioned in from another school that had different standards because it was from a different state. <clears throat> and they took drama classes, not theater classes, so the requisite to perform was not there in an advanced class. So we got through um, that, and during my planning period, I again didn't get to catch up on my grades and my grading, um, and of course all those grades are due because it's progress report time, but I had to meet with uh, a microphone rental company because, quite frankly, we're doing a musical with 82 students, so we have to mic them because they're singing and falafeling, falafeling, falafeling flailing and stuff going on. So, <laughs> falafel. Falafel would be good right now. I have no ingredients. But it's still light out. No, 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 no. We're not getting falafels. It is light out. As soon as I finish this, I am going to get my workout on in the ray. Ooh. Falafel is sounding better. Huh. Let me eat calories instead of burning them. No, seriously. I'm, I'm going to work out. Maybe even on the elliptical because uh, I need to keep my endorphins up quite clearly. I try to chillax at the end of the day. And after, you know, meeting with the, the sound guys who basically told me my system was archaic and are going to charge me $75 per microphone pack per day. And we have a rental in between ours. So they're going to working out and uh, I made sure to introduce them to the student council people too. Yeah, cut me a deal. I can hook you up with everybody. Cut me a deal, man. But um, I tried to chillax um, after after school, after my meeting um, with the professional company, professional theater company that has adopted us. Had to go meet with them and ask for stuff. I'm still asking for things, but they're being really generous. But in my mode of trying to chillax and going to get a mani-pedi, uh, that did not happen because there were 
Facebook updates requesting costumes that needed to be done and were so ingrained in this needs to be accomplished right now or I'm not going to be able to relax was for, for, foremost in my mind. So that didn't work. The mani petting didn't work. So we are done here. Very, very long day. Not a single moment to myself. I had a salad for lunch, which was eaten while walking down the hallway from one class to the meeting with the um, sound designers. Eating salad, walking down a hallway, sexiest thing ever. But we got her done, and it's going to happen, and it's a good day, and we have uh, callbacks on Wednesday, and continuing with, with choreography, and while it's no fun to put the fear of God into my students about their time frames. I'm glad it worked. Yeah, look at all this we got to do. <laughs> yeah. Read your scripts. It is time. Oh, speaking of that, one of the bonuses, I'm still in communication with, ooh, ooh, control. Um, in communication with one of my old students. He's like, what, 20 now? But he's, uh, he lives in Sweden. And I, he says, how's the show going, Miss Donnie? That's a horrible accent, but uh, it's like that. He's real brutish. And uh, I was like, you know, I'm, Pels, I'm feeling a little down. My, my students aren't reading the script, and it's slowing down the rehearsal process. And much to my pride and joy, he says, what? Don't they know they got to read the script to understand their characters? What the heck do they think they're doing? Hey, Miss Donnie, you want me to come and mess them up? I was like, well... Considering that you are the Southeastern Asian, Southeast Asia National Brilliant Jiu-Jitsu Wrestling Champion, no, please don't come mess up my students. <laughs> but you are allowed to post on their Facebook page to encourage them to read their scripts. In the meantime, I'm so proud of him. Yay. Some of my students learned because he was the one that didn't read his script originally. So take it as it comes. And I'm going to take that. All right. Time to work out. Whoa! See? That's necessary. Shucks. <laughs>